What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Ashes of Creations just dropped a new video about caravans, a new PvP event in the world of Vera. So in this video, we are going to break down that video with everything you need to know about caravans moving forward. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. Welcome back guys, and if you are a first time viewer to the channel, hey, welcome, hi, nice to see you. If you've been here before, welcome back. If MMOs are your thing and you like PvP, this is definitely the channel for you because that's all we care about on this channel is the PvPs, okay? So among the amalgamation of PvP events that you can actually have in Ashes Creation, so there's World PvP, there's Caravans, there's Guild Wars, Noge, Castle Sieges, Arenas, all of that is awesome. But what I want to focus on in today's video is the Caravan specifically. It might be a little off-putting to some players because it is, again, high risk, high reward. If your Caravan goes down, you lose all your stuff. It's it's out of 5,000. It's gone. But on the flip side, if you're able to raid a Caravan, you get a bunch of goodies. So there's three types of Caravans in Ashes of Creation. There's personal Caravans. There's uh, Morale caravans you know this this is for the mayors and then you have the pve the system driven caravans these are land based and some water based that you will see in this video that it actually turns into a boat which is freaking awesome okay it, it is so cool that the caravans are actually amphibious um, I, I i thought that was so cool that a single player drives and directs now i will say when you're driving this caravan there's a lot of pressure on you to choose the right pass and not get stuck on stuff because you're you're, you're pretty much afk driving this thing around and it is very team based. You have to rely on your teammates to actually protect you. Uh, it's kind of stressful. So there's two different ways that you can prepare these caravans. The first of which you can launch it from a village uh, stage three or higher that has the, the ability for the uh, canvasary buildings. And you can also summon them in open world from the canvasary nodes nearby. You can also apply some of the skins that you attain to the caravans, which is really cool. And the caravans do have some powers by themselves. And you can see in the video that they actually do have a little bit of speed boost. So while they're on the main road or if the main road has been paved and it's not off the beaten path, it actually does get a little bit of speed boost to help transfer your goods as quickly as possible because trust me, you're going to need it. Now, if you're worried about who's going to drive the caravan, don't worry because you can grant permissions. I actually thought about this on stream. I'm like, well, what happens if I want to go rogue and I just want to hop in the cockpit and just drive the caravan to the enemy? You know, the, you know it, that's kind of like, like a little spy. But no, you can actually assign permissions to it uh, so that doesn't happen, unfortunately. Interesting part though, if you kill the caravan driver, anyone can hop in this cockpit, I'm pretty sure. And if it's not able to be driven within 15-20 minutes, it actually despawns and uh, becomes a quote-unquote called wreckage. One thing to note is that the caravans actually do have collision and can be jumped on and mounted and all that good stuff. Now what is really cool and probably the selling point of the entire video was the naval caravans. This was really cool. So you have this land caravan, you get to a body of water because in the video, Someone had blocked off one of the roads. You can't proceed on some log, something. You can't go that way. So they made a detour to a body of water and the caravan actually has the ability to transfer into a boat, an actual boat, but it does take a while. So while it is AFK and building, you will have to protect it. And one thing to note is if for whatever reason you want to cancel the build, well, all of the amount of time that you put into building it, you also have to put into taking it down. So it is very, very risky. So the second type of caravan is the mayor caravan or the, the trade caravans. I'm probably gonna call it trade caravans because I just cannot say mayoral, uh, mayoral caravans. It, it just doesn't roll off the tongue. So we're just gonna call it trade caravans. So these are really special. So these are only between alliances with a trade agreement. And so there is a requesting kind of like a, you're buying something from the store. You fill in an order from Amazon. You have a, here's what I want. Here's what I need. You, you sign the agreement and you just send the trade caravan along the way. Right. And it's just like the personal caravans. You do have a lot of booty in these. Okay. So it is very advantageous. You have a group of head of time who's going to actually help you protect this thing. That's not going to bail on you last minute. Now, there is a whole wiki for all this information. I'm not going to go through everything. I just wanted to lay the groundwork for what a caravan is and what the benefits of it are. And just some little things to note, uh, the water actually does have a current. So your caravan will move slower on the water against the current and vice versa with the current, which I thought was pretty cool. The terrain definitely does matter. There's upgrades for your caravan, like I said, and it's just really important for you guys to have an organized group in order to transport one of these things. Now, after everything is said and done and you get to the end 
and you have the caravan you escorted the goodies you have everything taken care of so how do you get your rewards here's the what i do not like about the caravan system it is an honor system okay there is one person to my knowledge that will distribute the loot accordingly and you don't necessarily get that loot right as you deliver the caravan some of the nodes some of the boxes take five months to unload some of them take a day so this is where the honor system comes into play and i'm typically not a big fan of this because i'm a nihilist <laughs> and i have a very skeptical frame of mind okay i can see this going wrong in so many ways so yeah, if you're a World of Warcraft fan, right, you can ninja loot in this, apparently. Uh, maybe they will address this or put in some precautions to where that this cannot happen all the time. I'm sure it's going to happen some of the time, right? So it is very important you do this with a group you absolutely trust. So if you're not careful and some people like playing the espionage game, you might get a little spy in here who, uh, you know, might ransack everything. Who knows? So again, going back to what Steven said, it is high risk, high reward. It is very, very strategic. You can see in the gameplay that terrain is a huge factor for the caravan type. Again, there are many forms of PvP in Ash's creation, and this is just one. So that's pretty much all that he talked about in the video. Um, he talked about a little bit about the AI, how it's still going through a lot of iterations. Everything still needs to be polished. So if this gameplay doesn't look as clean as you think it should be, again, Steven wants to reiterate that it is going through the refining process and it's gonna be a night and day difference when everything is said and done. Now, a common question asked during the live stream, do you think solo PVP 1VXing is going to be impossible in Ash's creation? Yes, I do believe it is going to be possible. I think that at first, especially at first, the skill gap difference between the committed player and the casual player is going to be astronomical and you're going to be able to just run amok on people, okay? Are you going to be able to tank like 20 or 30 people? No, probably not. But if you you pick your fights, you get in the back lines, and there's not a lot of communication between the players on the caravan or in open world, uh, I do believe there is a VoIP system, so there will be some sort of communication. But you will run across groups all the time. I am sure they're not very well organized, and you will be able to take advantage of that. I do think there is going to be a lot of 1vx potential. 2vx potential, I think the rewards are going to be staggering. Keep in mind, it does have a PK system, like in the SAO, you know, the more players you kill, you, you know, the, the more infamous you become, right? I think that's a really cool system. But there is a lot to uncover about Ashes of Creation PvP. There's a whole wiki on it. I'm going to spend the majority of my weekend reading through it. Again, there's so many different types of PvP in Ashes of Creation, and this video is to just to showcase one of them. I think this is probably the most lackluster of the PvP types of events that will go on in Ashes Creation, but it still seems pretty fun. It will mix up the mundane, and overall, I think this looks pretty cool. Really looking forward to see what the dev team come up with, and I will be covering all the videos going forward. So, if you guys want to see more breakdowns like this, please like and sub to the video, hit the notification icon, and as always, a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons as well as my community members. You guys are absolutely amazing. And I appreciate each and every single one of you. This has been Horcrux, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.